So I've set up this quick and simple tool that lets you set up developer products and game passes. Just really easy. You just go in here. You'll see this value. It's called game pass ID for this one. That means it's going to prompt you a game pass. And you just paste your ID in. That is an ID I've got for one of my examples. And now when I touch this thing, it will prompt that game pass. And this one is a click prompt. So all I have to do is click it, and it'll prompt whatever game pass this is. It's the same one. These are dev products. means you can buy them multiple times. It's the same deal here. It's just now it's called dev product ID, and you have to find that there. The link is in the description. You can copy this for free, and you can use it however you want. Here's my example game pass. I'm going to open the output window just so you can see what's going on here. You buy it. I click OK, and you'll see that I now have the example game pass. And if I click this, it'll be the same deal. By the way, if you buy something in Studio like this, it will never say you own it because it doesn't actually charge you. It says it right here, test purchase. So it's really helpful for testing. And it's the same deal with this. It's just now it's a dev product. There you go. If you want to know where to find these IDs, you just go to a game, you click on the icon, you go down to associated items, and you can go to passes and developer products. So I've already set some up here, but once you do create one like this, you can go to sales, you can sell it, cancel, whatever, and then you want to copy asset ID. This will put it on your clipboard, do the same thing for the developer product. If I were to paste it in, I'd have the ID. Now finally, if you want to make the code do something, when you buy something, you'll go in this purchase handler, monetization stuff. You'll have two scripts here. Now, developer product, I have this code set up for whatever developer product this is. And if you want to name it so you know what it is, you can be like, this is my example. And then I could go on the game passes, do the same thing. This is just a comment. doesn't actually do anything. Say I wanted to, to delete the base play if I have this game pass. Just as an example. You write code in this function and it will work just fine. And because I don't have the game pass, I'm going to have to buy it. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to buy it. There you go. Base play has gone. That's the game pass. It worked. If I did actually have the game pass, that would happen when I joined the game as well. Because this code is for game passes specifically runs every time you have it. I think that's about it for how to use it. If you want to copy these, you can just put them around, change the IDs. It'll work just like you want to. It doesn't matter where it is. As long as you can step on it, it'll work. Really, all you need to do is make sure that this monetization script is in server script service or somewhere else like workspace it can it can run all right the second half of the video now is going to be more technical how this works why is it like this so once you get this for free there's a script in here that says double click me does you need help it gives you a bunch of information i'll let you read that on your own time this uses something called tags and i'm going to demonstrate this Go in the View tab up here. You have the Home tab and all this stuff. The View tab, you want to click on Tag Editor. And you can expand this, put this wherever you want. Say I wanted to click on this. Nothing is here. But you'll notice, when I click on this object and this one, these have something going on. Unknown tags. If I click on this blue icon, might be different in the future, it will put this tag in the system. It just means that this tag is now something it knows about. And if I wanted to, I could be like, new tag, hello. It's in here. You can do whatever you do with this plugin, I don't really know. I'm going to get rid of this tag. So what this means is that if I made a part, where I already had a part, and I click on this, this now has this tag, product, click, prompt. And if I duplicate this, it also has the tag. This goes without saying that this also works for these. 
These, these just use tags. Now in code, anything that has this tag is going to take on this functionality. That's what all this junk is for. You can look through that code if you want. But for the click prompt in specific, because there isn't anything inside of it, it's not going to do anything, but it should still make the click detector. So if we go over here, you see I can click on it, but nothing will happen. And that's because it's looking for that value. These have the values. I clicked on it. <laughs> you see, dev product ID. That means that's going to prompt dev product. This one over here is set up with a game pass ID. So that's really how it works. That's all there is to it. So yeah, that's it. Just go in the description. I'll even make this place copyable if you want it. It's all set up. Just change the IDs. You'll be good.